back with another video about the differences between the US and Germany. And this is something that we didn't really pay attention to until just recently. And so when we moved over from the US to Germany, um, our diet didn't really change. Uh, like, yeah, we ate different kinds of things, but like our macros, so like our fat, carbohydrates, protein, they all stayed the same pretty much. Like we didn't like have like a crazy diet change. Um, and we noticed, like Remo noticed that his skin was looking like a little, not very healthy, like through his like T-zone. And my chin was just going crazy, I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> and we started thinking and we were like, yeah, that has to be one of the reasons that we're just not feeling very healthy. Like we kind of researched it and we came across the topic of fortification of vitamins. I took some classes in the US in college for nutrition and so I know that the US fortifies their foods and I just thought that was the same for all of the world. I don't know why I thought that because that doesn't make any sense. Um, but we looked up here in Germany and they actually don't fortify here in Germany. They do do salt, they fortify that with iodine, same in the US. Some smaller companies will fortify their own products with certain vitamins and the same in the US. So so some granolas here in Germany are fortified. We did find that milk was fortified, um, kids milk actually was fortified with vitamin D here in Germany. We did find one, one milk that we could we could see was fortified but that was the the company again that was fortifying it and not the government. So in the US um, folic acid is fortified in wheat and vitamin D is fortified in milk. So that's what the government does. So I wanted to talk about those two vitamins because they are fortified in the US and so in the US you have them a lot more in your diet. Funny story about the vitamin D when Remo was in the US living, he was studying there. Um, he went to go buy milk and he saw like two cartons next to each other and one said on there that it was fortified with vitamin D and one said that it didn't say anything it just said milk and so he and they were the same price and he was like oh that's so crazy one is fortified and it's the same price as the non-fortified so he was looking at the non-fortified just seeing like what's different you know and it actually did say in the ingredients very small that it is actually fortified with vitamin D so and that's something that I didn't notice like him just buying milk in the US or buying bread or whatever it doesn't always advertise oh fortified because they just all are because it's something that the government has implemented in the US Germans on average need to have those vitamins more in their diet or they need to take the supplements themselves. In fact, we found this map that shows that um, that Germans are better on average than, than Americans in eating their fruits and vegetables. So folic acid is found in mostly dark leafy greens. There's some in fruits as well. Um, and I think Germans on average just need to eat more of those things to get the same amount of vitamins. That, that you would get in like the wheat in the US. 86% of Germans have an adequate amount of folic acid in their diet and that's due to the eating the fruits and vegetables. And then we also found that we know that folic acid is a huge vitamin in pregnancy, which is one of the reasons why we're focusing on this because it relates to me being pregnant. <laughs> um, and folic acid um, can have cell defects in the baby if you don't have enough of it. 95% of German women that are at childbearing age do not have enough of folic acid in their system when they become pregnant. And to me that's huge because folic acid plays such a big role in pregnancy. So I actually looked up how much folic acid is in spinach. In 100 grams of spinach there is 149 micrograms of folate. Now the recommended daily value or the RDA for, um, for adults for spinach in one day, it's 400 micrograms. As a normal person, you would have to eat 200 grams of spinach in order to cover that amount. And as a pregnant woman, you would need 600 micrograms. So that means you would need to eat 300 grams of spinach. And that's just spinach. I also found that in normal green leaf lettuce, there's less, about 38 micrograms in normal green leaf lettuce. So you would even need to eat more. I, we did the math and it was like something like one kilogram of green leaf lettuce a day in order to get the same amount of folic acid that you would need for your normal daily values. For vitamin D, obviously the best way to get vitamin D is through the sun. And here in Germany, I know that that is hard because the sun is never out. <laughs> Especially, it's a seasonal thing, so I found that more than 50% of Germans have actually a seasonal deficiency of vitamin D. So in the summer, you store up all of your vitamin D with through the sun, if you live in like a sunny area, 
or even in Germany, you still store vitamin D, and then that's supposed to carry you through the winter. <clears throat> and in Germany, the sun's just not out as much as it should be. So unless you're like somewhere near the equator and you spend your whole summer there, um, you probably don't have enough vitamin D in your system to get you through the winter. And that's really interesting to me. Um, and so in looking up, in looking up vitamin D in actual foods, um, it's pretty hard to find vitamin D in foods. I found it in fish and I found it in eggs. And the RDA for vitamin D is 15 milligrams a day for adults, and in eggs there's about two milligrams. So you would need to eat a ton of eggs in order to get that amount that you would need in one day. Now I actually found a cool like Wikipedia, wiki how-to page on how to get more vitamin D. Um, and so I'll, I'll link that if you're interested. If you can't get those those vitamins normally in your diet supplements are definitely a good option in order to get those, the vitamins that you need and fortifying is great in the US because you you don't always get those vitamins in your diet when you can get them in your diet and have them in their natural form it's actually better for your body to absorb so what we have found and, and with all this information that we have gathered, what we have found is um, we needed to all in all eat more fruits and vegetables in order to get more folic acid um, that we need. And one thing that we did for Christmas, we bought a blender or the Germans call it a mixer. <laughs> and we love it. And we just, um, we just get a ton of fruits and vegetables and we put it in there and every day we have a green smoothie and we got a super strong blender that's really good quality. If you're interested, I'll link it. Our favorite smoothie right now is pear, avocado, and and spinach. And it's really good. Um, don't knock it until you've tried it. It's like our favorite one to make right now. And one way that we have found that we eat more vegetables is when they're starting to go bad, we just throw them in the freezer. And so we have like a ton of stuff in the freezer that was starting to go bad and then we'll just pop them in our smoothies as needed. And we found that that's like a really good way to save your, to not waste money because I know that fresh things can go bad pretty often. And I know that I'm just talking about the US and Germany because that's all that I personally have experience with. But we did look up and there, most of Europe actually does not fortify either. Um, there's a map that we found that shows like which countries fortify. So this actually applies to a lot more countries. So I hope you found this video kind of interesting. Hopefully you found it a little bit informative. It was kind of a different video than what I normally do, but we, we found all this and I just thought it was so interesting and it's a huge difference from the US to Germany and not one that most people think about. I know we didn't think about it until it became like something that was a problem for us. So tell us what you think. So do you notice a difference if you've moved from countries? Are you noticing a difference in vitamins or do you not notice? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!